We are about to show you the correct fit for a Snuggy Hoods headless hood. This also applies to the Snuggy Hoods headless jams hood and the Snuggy Hoods headless sweet itch hood. This hood has a zip which runs from top to chest. Simply undo the zip and velcros and put over the horse's head. The headless hood is ideal for those wanting to keep their horse clean without covering the face. It is machine washable and lined with a seamless shiny fabric through the mane and shoulder. The belly band should be done up tightly and forward, just behind the front leg on the girth. The chest should be a close fit but not too tight. A baggy chest is fine on finer horses as long as the chest is the correct depth. Zip up and attach the velcro. The velcro tab at the top under the chin should be fastened tightly. There should be plenty of wrinkles and excess fabric in the neck to allow for the horse to stretch down and eat comfortably. The hood should stay in place on the withers and behind the ears. Without a zip, the headless hood is simply a pull-on. Slip over the nose and back into position. You can either put the head collar around the neck or you can do this in the stable. This is how to tell if a headless hood is too small. The belly bands will be tight and will only just reach. This is likely to come undone. The chest will not be covered as it will be too shallow. The neck will not be long enough and it will be too tight. It will be too tight at the neck and the velcro will only just reach. This whole hood will be uncomfortable. This Snuggy Hood's headless hood is too big. It's too big around the belly and cannot fasten tightly. It's likely to slip backwards or forwards and this kind of movement could cause unnecessary pressure. It is too deep on the chest and the neck is way too long and loose. The velcro at the neck is also too loose and likely to slip back. Don't forget Snuggy Hoods offer an alteration service. For expert advice on all shapes and sizes, please call the office. For more information, visit snuggyhoods.com.